Once Western scientists first began studying the personal effects of speculation in the 1970s, they noticed that heart rate, perspiration, and other signs of emphasis decrease as the meditator relax. Scientists like Richard Davidson from the University of Badger State have besides been considering the long term of meditation. In 1992, Davidson received an invitation from the 14th Dalai Lama to come to the Northern Republic of India and sketch the brains of Buddhist monks, the foremost meditators in the world. Davidson traveled to Bharat with laptop computers, generators, and EEG recording equipment for the, for the brain, <laughs> thus initiating an ongoing work. Now, monks travel to his Y lab where they shoot over while in a magnetic imaging machine or they watch disturbing visual image as EEGs records their response to understand how they regulate arouse reactions. Any activeness including will create new pathways and strengthen certain uh, areas of the mind. This fits into the whole neuroscience literature of ex ex expertise, <laughs> says Stephen Cotling, a Harvard neuroscience in a New York Times article in 2003. Taxi drivers deliberate for their special memory and concert music musicians for their sense of pitch. If you do something, anything, anything, even play ping pong for 20 years, 8 hours a day, there's going to be something in your head that's different from someone who didn't do that. It just got to be. Monk's pattern, three forms of uh, first focus attention on a single object for a long time of periods. Second, cultivating pity by thinking about anger, causing situations and transforming the negative emotion into compassionateness. And third, open presence. A department of state of being act actively aware and whatever thought, emotion or sensation is present without reacting to it. Knowing that that has on the monk's brains, Davidson decides to realize what effects has on neophytes. He set up a co cogitation with 41 employees at a nearby biotech company in Wisconsin River and 25 of the participants in lightness mindfulness, a, a sense producing form that promotes non-judgmental awareness of the present and is taught by John kabat -Zinn. Very interesting, right? They know him the practice during a seven-hour retreat and weekly classes. During that eight calendar weeks period, these participants were asked to think over for 60 minutes each Clarence day, six days a hebdomadal. Brain measurements were taken before instruction and the reminder of the eight weeks and four months later. Measurements show that increased bodily process in the left field frontal region of the nose, an area linked to reduce anxiety and positive excited state department in our head. Also, at the remand of the eight weeks, 
the participant and 16 controls did not ponder receive flu shots to test immune responses. Researchers took a blood samples from them a month and two months after the injections. They found that the meditators had more antibodies against the flu virus than the non meditators. So you need to <laughs> meditate against the flu. If you want more information and join my online studio, visit Sairamo.com.